fundraiser right now in Marionette Park for first responders and their families. WGN's Patrick Elwood takes us there. At 115 Bourbon Street, the party is just about to begin. It's first responder night with several purpose-oriented organizations uniting to help, well, first responders and their families, but also just people in need on a variety of levels. So the Yard Foundation is a group of four individuals who came together all centered around the fire service. Erin Krupa is with the Yard Foundation. The team pictured here, her brother John McClement, is a firefighter on the far right. He is the one who conceived of the foundation. Their motto is, it feels good to do good. Our primary um, base is firefighters and first responders. And so when a firefighter you know, loses a battle or is facing a challenge, such as a terminal illness or cancer, they need something in their family, um, they start to DM us with their stories and we decide, you know, how much money, you know, or how we're going to raise funds for it, if we're going to do a benefit like tonight or if we're going to do just a post on Facebook and see what comes of it. The 100 Club of Illinois, which among other things, provides money to the families of first responders who die in the line of duty. They provide that much needed money in a great time of need throughout the state, sometimes only within hours after a death has occurred. The Yard Foundation, like all of these organizations, is out to help in ways big and small such as buying Christmas gifts for kids in clinic, fighting cancer, or a cause that is struggling to get donations. Kind of like a secret smile. You know, we kind of like to just do it and not have any recognition, just kind of like a surprise. So we kind of like gauge it. A GoFundMe isn't doing great in 24 hours, 48 hours, then we try. It's amazing to see it pick up and see pieces of it come together. Project Fire Buddies, pediatric cancer-based organization, and Chicago's Bravest Stories podcast are all in tonight as well. Fun starts at 7, goes until 10. Patrick Elwood, WGN News.